So this should give um, some E9 owners, 3 litre CS and CSI and CSL owners, and also maybe some uh, potential owners of the cars, people who are maybe looking to purchase one in the future, an insight into the problems with CS and CSI, E9 in general sills, their construction and the problems we have, which were sort of built into them by Carmen when they were uh, you know, new and on the production line. It was a complicated uh, structure that is without a doubt quite a serious Achilles heel and expensive to put right. So this will give you a little insight into how they were put together. What we've done here initially is there was um, just some very small rust bubbles on the rear wheel arch here. Um, but what we've done is obviously open it up. So this is the actual rear wing here. We've opened it up to expose the outer sill here and then opened it up still further to have a look inside uh, at the bottom of the rear wheel housing there, the inner uh, arch return and also the inner sill membrane. So this is an Italian 3 litre CSI that we're opening up now and obviously I showed you the other side of the car where we had that small amount of corrosion uh, just starting on the rear wheel arches, the forward section of the rear wheel arches. But um, what we try to stress to people is, is all the time with an E9 is if you see corrosion on the outside, without a doubt there's going to be more serious corrosion on the inside. And this, uh, so we've taken off the lower section of the rear quarter to expose the outer sill here and then slowly we're going to drill out all the spot welds and such like to remove the outer sill which is then going to expose that very important reinforcing membrane inside the sill but you can see here the rear wing has been removed and straight away as you can see it looks like a tea bag there uh, and holes in the uh, inner rear wheel housing the, the, the inner rear wheel arch and that uh, now we need to get that outer sill off to have a look at the condition of the membrane. And there you can see the bottom of the B pillar there, which is spot welded onto that inner sill reinforcing membrane panel. And actually the membrane on this car compared actually with a UK car, this car has been in Italy all its life. Um, so the climate's been very kind to it. So although this may look bad to you guys, this is actually a lot better than a, a car that's been in the UK all its life. So the membrane is pretty solid, but you can see if left for another year or so with that much surface corrosion, um, we would have serious, serious uh, membrane problems. And then the surgery gets far greater. So here you can see the outer sill removed, exposing the bottom of the A pillar. So we've uh, cut off the lower section of the front outer wing, exposing the bottom of the A pillar, which as you can see is gonna want uh, fabrication and uh, lower A pillar section putting in there. But this gives you a real insight into just how these two door coupes were constructed. So the bottom of the A pillar coming round, spot welded onto this inner sill reinforcing membrane here. So unlike most saloon cars, being a two-door coupe, they had three sills instead of two. So you've got the inner sill here, then you've got this uh, membrane here, the reinforcing panel, as I said, which the A pillar and the B pillar over there spot word onto, and then the outer sill over the top of that uh, membrane. So once any necessary repairs are carried out to that inner sill membrane, and obviously then it, once those repairs are done, it'll be very carefully etch primed, ready for the outer seal replacement. And you can see we've got brand new factory outer seals that will uh, then be spot welded into place once that membrane is absolutely perfectly repaired. So the A-pillar, as you can see, the bottom of the A-pillar is very, very corroded. And of course that corrosion has also gone into the forward part of this inner sill membrane as well. And then you can see we've got 
floor issues going into the bulkhead and this lifting pad which will have to be reconstructed. So the lower section of this uh, A pillar will be removed, the membrane repaired behind the A pillar and then once that's all ready the new A pillar will then be welded in. We're getting very close now to uh, being in a condition and state of repair that we can start uh, talking about uh, getting the outer sill, the new outer sill fitted. There's this structural reinforcing part which is where the two halves of the inner wheel wheel housings spot well together to make a sort of structural curve all the way around the rear wheel arches. So we've had to make uh, and fabricate the lower section of that and that corrosion in the inner rear wheel arch there that you saw earlier. So those bits are now fabricated and ready to be spot welded in. So the first bit to go in will be that uh, lovely new section of outer rear wheel arch and the bottom of that reinforcing part of the uh, inner rear wheel housings there. And that's our last bit of fabrication ready for outer sill to go on. So we've now finished the final bit of fabrication and repair work to the membrane and that uh, rear wheel arch uh, section there. And as you can see, all our repairs are now seam sealed, making sure that any of the drain holes in the uh, membrane there are kept clear. And then finally, a nice coat of uh, etch primer applied, ready for the outer seal. Here we can see the new A pillar, or lower section of the A pillar, now installed. The membrane behind the A pillar having been repaired first before the uh, lower section of the A pillar was welded in. Etch primer, ready for new outer sill. And then we shall move on and carry on our repairs into the bulkhead and floor area. So you can see now we're preparing now uh, the membrane, A pillar, B pillar, inner rear wheel housing repaired. You can see we're getting ready and preparing the outer sill uh, to be fitted. But obviously before that is carried out, we need to have a trial fit up uh, of the outer sill cover there, um, just to ensure our panel gaps are absolutely perfect before final welding and fabrication. So now the final measurements for the outer sill have all been taken. Uh, we're ready to spot weld the outer sill on. Now it's had its final fit up. And then the final measurements need taking for the lower front wing and lower rear wing repair sections uh, and a trial hang of the door to ensure that the panel gaps are absolutely perfect before they are welded in. You can see now the outer sill is fitted. We've just applied a little bit of colour, mainly for protection to that outer sill there and uh, in a rear wheel housing uh, before the lower section of the wing is welded into place. And then we just have a small modification to make rather than the uh, drain pipe there, the water drain tube draining into the outer sill and inner sill there as it did originally we just carry out a small modification and it will now exit the rear wheel housing so water never drains into the sill again. Now the sill work is complete to the membrane, the back of the inner sill there, the outer sill work is now carried on into the bulkhead here where measurements have been taken, fabrication carried out and panels manufactured here ready to be welded in along with a uh, new floor pan section there.
So the fabrication is now finished to the near side of this three litre CSI and in primer ready for paint work. So that's near side front floor pan, bulkhead sections repaired, the lower section of the A pillar, inner sills, inner sill membrane, outer sill, and then those lower wing sections repaired, front and rear. And now work shall begin on the offside side sill.